Shut up and sit down. Arrived at destination. Copy that. Deploy drone. System online, three, two, one. System operational. DD2 is online, scanning area. Hostiles reported. Proceed with caution and extreme prejudice. Copy that. Hostiles in sight, turning up comms for ghost mode. Over. Received. Good luck out there, soldier. Over now. Hey, you skellywags. Today we're looking at this, Corsac Individual Combat Set. Last line of defense, Corsac Trooper with bike and drone. For a good price, too. Yeah, top, bottom, warning. Side. The other side. And there's the back. The stuff you'll get. Nice big box of stuff here. Let's get them open. Like this. There is it. Here we go. And there. Nothing underneath. There. So it's about the same size, the box, as the capybara. Get this open. Here's a bag of stuff, guns and that. Got here a little drone. Holder for the drone. Here's the bike. There. So yeah, just the same as the capybara without that bit of the front. Just different color scheme. And here, Here's the Corsac Trooper. Wow, looking quite impressive so far. For a figure you get with a bike. Well impressed. Alright, let's uh, get him up here. Stand there. Don't you move. So here's everything all laid out. Now I've left stuff on the figure instead of taking it all off. Let's start with him. Corsac Trooper helmet. I'm really liking this design. It's not like anything I've seen before, um, even from Acid Rain. This can come off, and look, you've got that. Yeah, this is a different head. I've never had this head before. Head on the top's a bit small, but liking those eyes and that design on the face bit, and this bit just covering the top. Really good. Rest of it, look at all that, that detail. I'm sure there's other um, figures that maybe have the same bit, but I've not had them before. Bottom there. Yeah. See, look at all of that. 
And that, what's that thing there? No idea what that is. If you know, let me know please, because it seems to move. No idea what it is though. A yeah, little bits there on the back. There's a, um, this hood bit here actually clips on the back. More secure than the field vanguards. Right, articulation head can move the normal, but it's hindered by obviously the sides there and that. But you can take it off and it does move all the way around if you want. This arm, there is that shoulder roll, and it does go up to about there. All the way around, twisted bicep, and you've got the bend all the way there. Here we have rotation, and we've got the left and right course. Other side, we've got the gun style down, and then up. Movement underneath, of course, and side there, and down. And is Jean-Claude is a uh, course sacker balls. Leg goes up. Oh, oh, a little bit hindered by that thing. Let's try the other one then. Yep, that does go up though, nicely, and that would go up back a bit, just like that, to the side. And this ratchet joint, which doesn't feel as ratchety as normal, a little bit stiff on the upper bit though, so just be very careful. You don't necessarily have to heat these up. These are a lot better, sturdier, but just be careful. If you're afraid, of course, do it. Same for this side. Feels exactly the same. Here movements, uh, turn, twist, down, up for the foot, and then swivel pivot thing there. Right here. Pistol, that we've seen before. I like this pistol, good gun. It's in the hand. Very nicely. Love the way the acid rain figures hold their guns. So natural. And slips inside the holster nice and tightly there looking awesome here we've got uh, two grenades they do fit on there might be a bit fidgety though yeah there you go here's gun I love this gun probably one of the best that fits in nicely there look at that let's get him double handed on this Up there there you go looking good yeah nowhere to store it in the back though just thinking to put a magnet but hmm, I'll have to find my way this holster bit is for this, the drone, tiny this thing. So this just opens up, it goes diagonally open though, so be aware of that, and then that folds out. Legs come out there, this one too, got to turn it around. Same for this side. Got to get the flap, flap open first. Pull these out diagonally and turn them around. Might be a bit f uh, stiff at first. This thing comes up. There you go. And now it can move. Ready for warfare or scouting. And it just clips back in. And you align it. These go up. Fold them back in like this diagonally and in. Same for here. 
and then the middle tiny bits there you've got to put in the middle like that so this can close up nice and neatly same for this side and this one so put those bits in and that can now fold up there there there's a handle Let's try this handle his fingers in yeah it holds that really nicely look at that right so this holster thing for the bike let's pop this on Feels sturdy. Doesn't come out. Here's the bike. Wheels move as uh, expected. Thing down there moves too. Yeah, that's different at the front. Otherwise, the same thing. The front light on the Cabibara is a see through plastic. So, this bit here you can remove to get that drone bit on. Should just pop in nicely inside there. There, nice and secure. Let's get this guy on. Let's get his hand. So there we go. Looking awesome on it. There you go. Great little set actually. Getting a bike, drone and figure. And the figure is actually of really good quality. Um, got one of the older ones with the speeder thing. And that wasn't as good as this one. This one's got um, some really good detail. Looks really good. Quite impressed so far. Yeah. Liking it. Right, so just some comparisons. The first obvious one to do is with these two. So the Capybara here with the uh, this course like individual combat set. Uh, the capybara you got to buy separately um and the figure as well is separate the um what's his name glaucus or glacus mm. so when you actually buy the glacus uh, infiltrator and the capybara it works out just a bit more expensive about 100 bucks for the two of them i think Whereas the combat uh, set is about $77 plus shipping from Pia. Alright, let's try something. Send him up. Get him away. So, you can mix and match with these. They look, they are basically the same thing. I was going to try and take that front bit off, but it was a pain in the ass to put on. Let's move that. And this one. Get this on here. See? Same. You want a drone on your capybara? I can hold it. This one on here. So you got some power arms now on this one. There, mix and match. Yeah, I do like these both. I think I'm gonna get the um, Caleb um, Angels Born in Hell or whatever set out this month as well. 
That means I'll have three of these bikes. Oh. They're really cool though. Check these figures. So both very different. As you can see. Here, this guy Musashi is more like him. He's using the Field Vanguard body. So the shoulders here, the same, and the arms, basically the same different colour scheme. Um, here the hood bit, this is the old hood, it's a bit loose. See, whereas this one, this is secure. There's a peg on the back there that, that goes in, it's difficult to put in though. And that, the whole bit there, is different. Same buck on the inside though. See all that diff all the same thigh bits. Yep, the holster is the same too. But nice uh, different colour schemes there. Put us back. Alright. Here we've got the North NOS Snark 01. I'm quite big, even though it's sitting down. There's the pilot in it too. But I think they look pretty good though. I like I'm liking the mech size with the, the size of these bikes. Let's get Bolaris in there. Huge Bolaris. It's the bike. And Master Chief. Against the bike too. Here's Right Commando. Looking a bit small now. And here Vendetta. Also looking kind of small. Oh. And a bit sleepy, apparently. Here is a new little custom I've been, I was doing a video on. And we've got Flame Trooper, a manga Flame Trooper, in the works. Then we have here, Camelbot Interceptor. Video of this guy is on the channel. And we have here, Civic Company Aegis Sentinel, also on the channel. And this guy I just did a video of, Portanova. Custom uh, model kit I've done, which scales quite well with these figures. So, digging this guy, I, I didn't have him on pre-order to begin with, but I think last month I decided to put, put him on pre-order, now sold out on PR. Here is um, Field Flea drone, as you can see it's the, base, the same basic bottom part, the top bit isn't included in this one, it's in the set, but it should just be able to get on, on there. There you go. So yeah, you can carry around uh, this drone instead. Field flea on this um, bike. Let's get this one back on. Yeah, kind of rubbery there. Softer plastic. Let's take a look again. So yeah, I do like this new head sculpt instead of those uh, you know, plain ones you get. It's actually pretty nice. The head on the top is a little bit small. Um, but, yeah. I doubt that we'd be able to use any other armaments on this head though, because there's just too much stuff going on. But, really, really digging this look. And the aesthetic of this bike as well. 
shame it didn't have the uh, the front bit wasn't a see-through plastic yeah so this actual soldier himself is a nice little addition to come with this bike so if you're looking for like a vehicle and a figure and drone all in one if you can get it I would suggest uh, getting one sold out on PS so you might be able to get it elsewhere though nice little set thanks for watching I'll scale you later uh, get out the way Oof. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. let's turn this thing off hey you skelly wags look at this I'm spoiled today bike drone and hat to help my head keep safe from knocking and banging anyway please comment like subscribe and share this content and I'll scale you later all right let's uh, go for a big finish and do a wheelie out of here uh, uh, whoa! Ow. mind that